Roe v. Wade has stood for nearly half a century. Now, the landmark abortion rights decision is facing its most serious challenge in decades. After hearing hours of arguments today, the Supreme Court appears willing to uphold Mississippi's ban on nearly all abortions after 15 weeks. No exceptions for rape or incest. The court has a solid 6-3 to three conservative majority. A ruling in this case could significantly weaken Roe v. Wade or overturn it. Passionate protests outside the Supreme Court as justices ask questions and listen to arguments. Since 1973, Roe v. Wade has essentially prohibited states from banning abortions before 23 weeks, the point of viability. And it established abortion as a constitutional right. Chief Justice John Roberts was once seen as a key swing vote. Today, he signaled he is open to a 15-week time limit for getting an abortion. If you think that the issue is one of choice, uh, uh, that women should have a choice to terminate their pregnancy, um, th that supposes that there is a point at which they've had the fair choice, uh, opportunity to choice. Uh, but if it really is an issue about choice, why is 15 weeks not enough time? Justice Sonia Sotomayor warning that overturning Roe v. Wade would make the Supreme Court appear political after three conservative justices were added to the bench. Will this institution survive the stench that this creates in the public perception that the Constitution and its reading are just political acts? I, I, I don't see how it is possible. It's, if people actually believe that it's all political, how will we survive? Abortion has long been one of America's most divisive issues. In August, a poll by NBC News found 54 percent of registered voters in America believe abortion should be legal, always or most of the time. 34 percent said abortion should be illegal, with exceptions. NBC's justice correspondent Pete Williams listened to the arguments today. Pete, if the court upholds the Mississippi law, what would that mean for Roe? Well, it would undercut the central holding of Roe, which is that states can't ban abortion before the age of viability. And if they say 15 weeks is okay, then that would undoubtedly unleash other states to try to restrict abortion or ban abortion a shorter uh, periods of time. And of course, we're still waiting for the court to say what it's going to do about the lawsuits against the Texas law that bans abortion after six weeks. But whether it explicitly overturns Roe or just upholds the Mississippi law and eviscerates the viability standard it would be a momentous change in abortion law. Yeah, no doubt. A lot of back and forth today, Pete, over precedent. How did the justices handle that? Yeah, and in this case, they were seen to be talking to each other. You heard Justice Sotomayor's question, which was really meant as a message to her colleagues. The liberals are all basically saying the same thing. How can we justify overturning Roe if nothing has really changed since we last looked at this 30 years ago? But some of the conservatives said uh, we shouldn't be shy about overturning precedents that some of the court's most sort of forward-leaning decisions have involved overturning uh, past rulings. Listen to the way Brett Kavanaugh put it. If we think that uh, the prior precedents are seriously wrong, if that, why then doesn't the history of this court's practice with respect to those cases tell us that the right answer is actually to return to the position of neutrality? And Justice Amy Coney Barrett had some similar questions and some similar points about precedent today. Well, that suggests that they are at least willing to vote to uphold the Mississippi law. So, Pete, argument's done, but the decision months away, right? <laughs> Yeah, set your alarm for probably late June. A decision this consequential, overturning precedent like this, this controversial, we probably won't get it till the end of the term. Pete Williams, thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.